So, hello, this is Digital Face, and welcome to episode 2 of Procrastinating in Duskers. So, yeah, last time we started off here, and I'm just going to use 3 to take a look. And what's in this system? Mm. Ooh, a Stargate. That might be good to use. So, yeah, we'll head for this system, so jump. This will use one of our jump sounds, but give us a full load of propulsion, which you know is pretty good. And three. So let's begin with the Dorian Gray, a uh, military type, age 223, so it's getting dangerous now, these racks. And we don't know how many infestations are on board. Great. Oops, I didn't intend to do that. Oh well. Uh, it's a fuel depot, so we might be able to get enough fuel to make that not so bad. Or we could just ignore the military one with the deadly stuff. And we've just had our first theory. So these are theories about why the universe is so abandoned. And you just been told we need to look for more reports on molecular assemblers. So let's start. Okay, this is not so bad as well. This isn't as bad as the military ship. So, drone one, come this way. And I'm going to try and not shout while uh, I'm in first person mode. As I realized in that last episode, as the loudness of the things made me go, made me just stop yelling. So, okay, that's not helpful. Go one, room two. Motion. Okay. D6. Go 3, room 4. Status. We know there's, so we know there's an infestation on. Ooh. Gather 3. If this infestation is a swarm, then we might have just lost drone three. Go three, room two. If it, if there is a swarm on board the station, it could come out of that event, which would not be good for us. Close D six. Okay. D seven. Get the three. So we'll just clear out room two of all the loot, and then we'll send it into room three while we wait for D7. Go three, boom, three, A2. Vent on the side of the shuttle. A2. A2. Okay. Gather all three. Open D7. Again. Airlocks are blunt measures. You don't want to use them if you don't need to. Open D5. 3. Okay. Right. And. So, yeah, that, that was a bit quick in and out one. Yeah, didn't find any replacement uh, propulsion fuel, but we did find some jump or, or jump cells. So that's always good. And I got myself some diet coke to drink. As this is a very hands-off game, you can make do with taking your hands off the keyboard to have a drink. And we have our first. Yeah, we got here. We have our theory. So yeah. Do we go back for that? No, we continue along this line here. Travel. Board. It's only got one uh, infestation on board, so that's fine. Just thinking. Before we board, go to modifications, bring Hal back online. As it has the ability to stuff four uh, modules. And we increase its max HP as much as we can. Execute. So that's now 120. 
Let's see if we now if we go to our lineup. Bring Hallen to slot four, and make its upgrades available to the rest of us. And we'll equip Hal with the mine upgrades. Okay. Board. Enter. Yep. Right. It's like last time I'm empty, so I'm no longer. Oh, here we go. A second uh, thing. So, status. Well, the start will tell us that. It's. Uh, Okay, it's got one infestation type. We know that. Go three through five. So have the drone automatic navigators there. Right, we know this is the entirety of the ship. Know all the doors, so we know this is all there is to it. And we'll just take all of three, just two. There we go. Gather. Another motion, uh, uh, right. D7. Go three, room four. And then we'll start to gather. So at least we can see the entirety of the ship here. D8, D5. And if there is anything, yeah. D5, seal the door. Gather. Three. D9. I'm hoping there isn't a swarm on board the ship. If there is, then I'm screwed. Info. That is an overload. What does an overload do? I don't know. Interface. Survey. It will just tell me what I already know, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, gather all three. Gather all. There we go. Yeah, it's disabled because, of course, it is. A3. Okay, commandeer. So, what is the overload? Um, okay, I think I'll stick with the remote power if you don't mind. Go three, room three. Uh, end. No, we want to wait for drone three to reach that, and then we gather all. Let me use the end command. Gather all. I'm just hoping there isn't any slime here. That would be deadly. End. Exit. There we go. A little bit, a bit more P fuel, and we have an issue of we've got a module breaking down. So we need to repair the module, uh, the motion upgrade. Okay, upgrade. No, there we go. Repair. Fix it up. Execute. So there we go. Motion. No longer going to break. But patching up more and more and more will make it just break faster, so we've got to be careful. And here's our second theory. Okay, travel. I do want to make use of the hyper gate, though. So, yeah. Do you want to find? I do want to make use of that hyper gate and move to another galaxy. And that's just a random filler. So start. Go three, room five. Motion. Room two is a risk. Go four, room five. Three, gather. Okay, Sonic is good for pushing away. Uh, right, recover. Three. 
Yep. Mine. Mine. Go four, room five. No, go four, room, go four, room three. Okay. T7, T4. There we go. Once it's in room f in room two, passes into room five, it'll blow the mines. So, there we go. Successful. D8. Nope. D7, D4. We create an airlock style. Go three, room five. Create airlock. As if that was a swarm. Then uh, that event could spawn another one, and that would not be good for any of us. Nope, that was just a security robots. Okay. Gather three. Right, gather all. Okay, it's done. It's done. Okay, D4. Go three, room two. And that event is fine. Since it was a security bot. Oh. There we go. So, yeah, still waiting. So now for the part of the video where I do some random talking. Still waiting for uh, room all alpha 18. Yeah, so a few more procrastination video style videos. D8, D5. And wait and see if anything moves into there. If it does, then we'll be using force to sew some more mines into room 5. You do need two mines to ensure a kill, typically. Okay, D5. D7. Go for room 5. Mine. Just get this command set up. Mine, mine. Go for room 3. D7. D4. Wait for it to move into there. More scrap. Gather. Or just have three clean up room three while we're waiting for that to happen. Put the loot to drop into room five. We might blast the doors into a damaged state, but oh well. There we go. D7, go three, room five. Gather all. There. Ooh. No, there's two in status. As I was thinking, there was only one of this. Yes, there were two infestation types: security bots and leapers. Okay. Interesting. Didn't expect that one. Here's the fuel port. Here's some more scrap. Just scout the entire room. Okay. Gather all. Open D6. I'm prepared to end. <sighs> Just starting to reach some more difficult derelicts now. Gather, gathered, and I'm prepared the exit command. And let's try and avoid an unsafe exit, shall we? Three, why are you stuck? Drum three. Why don't you get stuck on? Oh, you got stuck on a box. Okay. And oh, come on! End. There we go. And exit. Just ready for it. So I used four mines and some motion charges for this, but I don't think it was too bad in the end. Yeah. Okay. And we have a new drone as well, so that's always good. And we have five propulsion units in reserve. Okay, that will give us enough to go to this ship and then the gate, which is what I want to do. So let's travel. Board. And yeah, we'll go. Hang on, before we do that. Modifications, we need to reprime the mine upgrade with two, with four fresh mines. Execute. We can, I'll let it break happily, since it's not important to my strategy. But you know, it's a nice thing to have. You can make do with other things, really. Repair by 10 HP. Uh, do I just upgrade how? I upgrade one at uh, Ethan. Actually, I don't know. 
I'll tell you what we should tell you who we should have grade now. This guy. Execute. Board. Enter. So. There we go. Uh, okay. And here's our third. Here's our th here's our third theory. And it has two infestation types. Start. This might have a can upgrade built in. If it does, I might take this ship as a new flagship. Ah, uh, but if it does, then I'll have to be careful that I don't accidentally blow up too much on that other ship I'm trying to board. Oh, this is, I chose drone three. Showed up, didn't I? Oops, I forgot about that. This way. Okay, there's an interface here. Interface. Defense. Yeah, that's one way of handling things. Defense, go three, room two, D4. Ship defenses are always the best, if you ask me. Three. So, yeah, because that scrapping makes me think there's one of the infestations is defense drones. So, yeah. Right, okay. I know of a way to pull this off. Involves coming, bringing you new here. Swap. Grab the shield off of A. This door is safe. Okay, that room is safe. D3. Shield. Shield. Right, you got your shield activated. D3. Okay, this room is safe. Remote. Room 5. There we go. Okay. Go 1, room 5. D3. Info 4. So we know what that upgrade is. It's the cannon. Yes, I like the cannon. Motion. Okay, that is an unknown variable right there. Go one, room two. Go three, room three, and then we'll use go three, room three. Is D9 broken? It might be. D9. No, D9 is functioning. Okay. Gather. Yeah. Motion. We don't know about the next room in that chain either. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. Okay. D11. Go 1, room 5. We're really using the motion upgrade this time, aren't we? D4. Go 3, room 4. Motion. D6. Interface. Interface. Wait until we know what's in there, then we'll fire it. Okay, there appears to be nothing in that room. Four. Still got the shield online, right? The defense is not activated. Four. Nope, that's dead. I thought, oh dear, that just opened the door. But no. That is fine. It's going fine. <laughs> Generator. Door 11 no longer responding. Okay, that door is jammed. Okay. And it's jammed shut. Ah. D7. Okay, so we killed one entity so far on board this ship. D10, D6. Four, just to move on to the side of the generator. Go one room. What What room is this? To look at the schematic. Go one room seven. 
Okay, then we'll use the motion to scout room 8. Uh, yeah. I'm also going to shut down room 5's power. One motion. Right. Hold it there, mate. Hold it there. Oops, wrong. Okay, one. Yeah, okay, I'm messing my key again, but sometime. Mm, motion. Nope, not mo. No motion. Inconclusive. Okay. I can think of one workaround for this issue. And it involves that 500 hit point shield. D10. Okay. The shield is online, correct? D12. Go. It's in this room. Yep, yeah, I was right. Operation Legget time. So that is the room with with the beastie. D ten. D ten. Defense. Defense. Off. And that is why you use a shield. Where did it kill it? There it is. Didn't stand a chance. Okay. Remote. Room seven. Close D six. Open D seven. I'm hoping there's only one in this. There's only one in this section. Close D ten actually, and open D six so we can leg it all the way back. So we can leg it back to the right room. Four. This seems safe enough though. That's a vent. That's fine. That's fine. That's it then. This is so it's all over. D eight. D ten. We're done. Okay, end. A slightly harder challenge of a ship if you ask me. Oh wait to go three room six. Just need to use that to gather up the fuel. Yeah, if we can get another jump cell here that'd be great. As jump cells are nice. So this was an it was an interesting ship. Don't want to commandeer this ship. The cannon is a nice upgrade. Gather Take a look at the command here. So we lose some scrap. Yeah, it's not it's negligible scrap. But the can the cannon's not a the cannon's a nice upgrade, but it's not not necessary really. Hmm. And I'm on a little exit. The cannon's not ne strictly necessary, and it's actually more damaging than it's good. Alien has if you use it on a vessel and these things are paper thin by the way. You probably could tell that from the fact that you can't board them again. So exit. Interface breaking down. Oh dear. That's great. So we now have three <laughs> theories uh about what could have gone wrong with the universe. A rupture in space-time, uh, causing an event which basically causes space to fall apart. Yep. Then we have grey goo, so being broken down by a molecular assemblers to create more molecular assemblers. And then we have the singularity, which is rogue AI. <laughs> Going good, isn't it? Okay. Said. And travel. Jump. To the next galaxy. Travel. This effectively counts as a free jump, by the way. A free uh, FTL jump. So here we are. Three. System. And. We can't land on these if you don't really have a transporter. 
can't go to F as that requires a military ship. So the only thing in this system is the is the medical ship. Let's just have a hop over to her and board. Or go in like this. We could lose the interface module, we might not. Who knows? Okay, so only one infestation, but the ship is now volatile. What does that mean? Well, it means things are gonna. Some of the previous ships are guaranteed to have been volatile as well, but it basically means that there's a good chance that uh, the ship will fall apart around us while we're in here. Go through room three. I'm just going to use one to scan and scout for some scrap in this first room. Just seems to be any in here, really. Okay, motion. No four is a threat. Okay. I'm happy to vent room three into space. D22. D9. This could go horribly wrong if D22 gives in. D9. A2. D22 did not give in to space. Uh, okay. D7. Just use <laughs> room 4 as a, a scouting room. Yep, that was filled with something. D9. Okay. Stand by with D9. D9. A2. D9. A2. Okay, so D eighteen three D seven. Here we go. Okay, D sixteen. Let me out. So D seven, D sixteen, D eighteen. Just in case I do have to decide to. Open. D18, not D8, okay. So from here on in, we're on to uh, uh, scouting. So go for room three. Go for room three. Go for room three. I'm guessing I didn't hit the foot. Uh, that explains it. Okay, now that log. D22, D13. Let's go to drone 4. Activate the shield. That means it could break, but it deterioration. But given the circumstances, I'm happy with that risk. Info 4. Decontaminate. That gets to the radiation. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. D12. Go three, room six. Let me use that to pick up the scrap in that room. Go f four, room two. Go four, room. Go four, room two. Gather. All, all three. D twenty one. Shield is still online, so still this drone is still safe from the damage. D twenty one. D twenty one. Remote room seven. Okay, we now know some of the ship's structure. D21, go one, room is seven. Then we'll restart motion in that room there. Motion! Okay, dokie, that's a bit of an issue.
Now, well, not on ships like this, you typically have two rooms with doors open between them, which monsters can move between. So what I'm going to do is, drone four can come here and take over remote. Oh wow, I can't type. Remote room seven. Generator four. Okay. We're going to use room two as a <laughs> as a an airlock, I guess. Drone three. You can hear that chirping sound. That terrifies me. That typically, to my, in my mind, sig signifies. Oh sh. Okay, OBS. You wanna freak me out again with another encoding overload? So if this video is a bit dodgy, blame OBS. And I can't even go back and re-record because of things. Shoot. Let's just turn up. Oh, let's take what? Let's take a two second sabbatical from Discus. Have some wonderful OBS sounds. There we go. Okay. Let's just now we remember it's been wrenched out of the narrative. Okay. We good? We good. Our, our stupid our stupid risk paid off. Oh. It's terrifying. Go to room two. Remote room. Remote room two. Generator two. So that's what that sound was. And I have not recovered yet. Because this has trained me to be terrified of every single sound like that. Okay, remote room seven. So remote. Okay, let's just sit down drone four. Remote room seven. Ro drone go one. Room ten. Four. I can go th three. Room seven. Then we'll use the interface. So I can't open D seven or D sixteen anymore. Interface. Ship. Scan. Okay. Motion. Uh, go. One. Okay. Radiation is finally finished filling five. And motion. Okay. We don't know what's in the other room. Okay. Go three room two. We'll have to make our way back into room actually. Three. Just before I send drone four into the next room, gather all. Yeah. Okay. Don't I? I'm so terrified by that sound, but I was, so. Take that into account, how to freak me out. Three, two. How to freak me out. Play the sound of a door giving in. Of <laughs> creaking metal. Four has a shield up, so it can take one of some of the attacks. That's a damaged terminal. So there was something in this room. Something happened to this room. But I think, okay, go th three room eight, not forty eight, go three room eight, D twenty one. I just realized something, alias, if I was to put, R there, would that work? Control S save, let's go Four, seven. No, okay, that's not gonna work. I thought I would, but he wouldn't. 
Oh well. I'm gonna specify the door in the room. More like gather. Gather. Okay. Come, come, come. Go four. Uh, room seven. Go three. Room seven. Yeah, there's ways to do this without having to type multiple commands, but I just prefer doing it that way. Three. Get out of the way of the door. Fudge. D24. D24. We need to get the fuel from this base, so yeah. Hopefully there's a transport upgrade in those two rooms. D10. A3. Okay. Okay. D24. Fall back into that room. We don't know if there's a link between the two other rooms left on this ship, so... This is the scout party. If there is a door between these two rooms, then we panic. Okay, so there's no airlock to vent that room into space. Okay, we know that now. Do we know that room 9 is clear? D17. It evidently is. Okay, fine by me. Back into D17, D17 close. Remote, room 7. T20, go for room 7. 3, I just want to move you over here so, you're not in, so that you can move past room, room 4. Generator. Generator. 4. Remote. Room 11. D10. D8. Yes, there was something in there. D10. Wait for others in there to move out. And then we'll end this video. It's a bit, it's a bit long, but eh, well. D10. D23. D8. 3. Unfortunately, we can't use decontamination on this, on board this ship to prevent get the room out of room. The radiation out of room 5, unfortunately. Gather. That decon upgrade, not that use, particularly useful. Really? Right, D5, at least not in my experience. Okay, end. And. Uh, Apart from a minor case of jumping when I heard that metal screeching, which was good as prepared me for the radiation to room 5, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Exit. <sighs> it was okay. Really. Okay. Well, here's to hoping that this video actually turns out okay. Uh, this OBS did have an encoding overload, so what might be the case of is the audio and visual are out of balance, which would be bad, but there's, yeah, there's not much I can really do about that. And next, that's going to be an interesting one. Three infestation types and a hazardous hull integrity. So, yeah. But I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this one, despite the obvious technical issues, then I suggest you hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. One that you know when the next video comes out, which is a good idea as it's going to be an interesting one. And also in this room world. Don't forget room world. And the other one, well, let me know. I let me know that you enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it definitely. Yeah, definitely. I enjoyed I enjoyed jumping out of my skin in some of a creeping wrestle. Yes. Yeah. Uh other than that though, this is phased out.